So answer me, answer me this one. Why aren't you going to find the man hunts? Answer that. Why not? Because you got to kill the best in the game. <laughs> oh boy! Look, look, it takes eight players to kill me. Yo, kill this last guy, bro. I have no fucking medkits. Bring him up. He's cracked. One down. Bring him back in. I got my two med kits. <laughs> watch this, watch this. No, sir. Where are you going? No crits? Are you serious? Popping my kid up here. Yo, get this fucking secret mine off me. Why is he following me? This shit's so fucking annoying. What is this? Why is this secret chasing me? What the fuck? He's one. I know, I'm popping a kid back here. Come back here towards me. Come on. Got you, boy! 
Get out of here, boy! Woo! I'm also using the shield ivy, so it's like insane damage, amp damage. I'm out of kids, bro. I'm out of kids. Come up, come up. Try and one tap him. Look, look how much armor I got. <laughs> oh shit, I got one med kit. Chillin' bro, chillin'. Yo, are you a devastator? Did you kill him? Seven to four. I get off at three. Just because I bust ass, you know what I mean? Oh my god, 431! Yo! Yo! Yo, what the fuck? I've had no armor for like. Hold on, bro. About to die. Yo! I can't, I can't. I'm literally on blue. I'm literally on health, bro, with just adrenaline rush. Seven just shred. Nice push. He's so nice. He's weak. Come up, I got you. Easy running shotgun. Oh, he's dead. I ain't worried about him. He's dead too. Look at that. One tap, 420 to the head, 527, bro. I just landed 527 to his head three times. Three pellets were 527. That's fucking 1.5 million, bro, just in three bullets. <laughs> Yo. Yo, how pissed is that guy? Come on, chicken. Damn! I'm getting, sh getting shot in the back, bro. Going down the stairs. Oh, he 
for one to pop up. Oh, uh, it's my daughter's birthday, so I'm just gonna go out. Damn! Hey, now detecting contempt. He's cracked. Oh my god, these NPCs just want to ruin my life. This guy doesn't kill you, bro. He's messed up. 328k crits. Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your man, Clever Thumbs, and today I'm bringing you part two to the latest video that you guys did see. If you guys didn't get to watch that, I'm definitely going to drop a card on the top right hand corner. Go ahead and click on that and then continue. Come back and watch this video. But before we get right into it, definitely smash that like button, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. That way you guys are aware of when I'm releasing the newest content or even live streaming. Because whenever I live stream, I am testing new things out. So let's get right into it. Pretty short, sweet, and simple. As you guys did see, this is a shotgun build. Um... Now I'm going to give you a couple tips, a couple pointers, but let's keep this short, sweet, and simple. Not waste too much of your time. So, firewall is going to be your best friend here. Why? Because you're going to be able to use this shield, the striker ballistic shield. If you guys aren't familiar with this, you do get damage bonus per enemy that's standing in front of you. And it also gives you a buff for anybody who's standing behind you. They did nerf this a while back. Um, so that it, it used to last a lot longer and everybody was just running shields There used to be a shield meta some people say that the shield is useless But as you guys can see if you use it effectively you guys are going to be able to get this uh, Extra damage and if you have a bunch of people in front of you you just times this number by four so That's pretty much why you want to run run the firewall and if you also throw grenades you can even run sledgehammer on your pistol so sledgehammer is going to give you more damage and give them a minus 20% movement speed while you're also doing 30% more damage to armor and that's going to pair up lovely because the shotguns already have shotgun damage damage to armor and damage to targets out of cover which is what you want and I know you might want crit chance or crit damage trust me when I tell you that this is the best attributes right here so this shotguns at 1.3 uh, mill for the total damage expertise 17 so this can get a lot better and to complement this shotgun I'm running the mp7 if you guys aren't aware the mp7 did get a, a buff during the latest uh, title update I think it got 50 rpm and 10% weapon damage so you know this gun is actually usable now that's my preferred method you guys can run the Ouroboros you guys can run whatever SMG I highly recommend SMG <clears throat> or an AR because it's gonna have the same critical hit chance as a shotgun would you know ARs shotguns don't cover a critical hit chance so you could use an AR but the SMG I like to use is an MP7 I like to keep it off meta a little bit and for your last one you can run sledgehammer or if you want to run the orbit, the orbit is going to give you that extra 35% critical hit chance and that 40% critical hit damage. You can shoot a decoy, a skill, a red NPC, and for the next 9 seconds, you got a nine, 10 second window, you, you can wait up to like 8-9 seconds to swap and get your orbit procced on to your military MA-70, which is only going to give you way more crit chance and crit damage. <clears throat> Which is what you want to do you want to stack a lot of damage now right here coyotes is going to be your best friend because you're always going to be in close quarter combat with a shotgun and if you read it you're going to get 25 percent critical Agent hit damage if you proc the nearby uh pack instincts talent and as you guys can see there's different ones at different ranges you get different uh critical hit chance and critical hit damage now moving on to the chest piece, it is a Badger Tough, which is going to give you that 10% shotgun. Now this could be a lot better, so you guys can make this build way better. So at 1.6, I can get this up the way up to 1.8.
probably if you optimize everything badger tough i'm running intimidate intimidate is good again so basically whenever you get bonus armor you're going to be able to proc intimidate very fast now and intimidate's going to do wonders with the shotgun you're pretty much stacking a ton of damage on this shotgun that's how you're able to rip all the way up to 500 and uh basically almost 600k crits with this build if you proc everything right so this is pretty much what you want critical hit chance critical hit damage on every piece if possible moving on to the Picaro's holster which is what i got here uh gives you armor critical hit damage is what i rolled on there and it comes with 15 percent weapon damage so this is just already adding up to great numbers as you guys can see now my my knee pads of choice is a fox's prayer and that's because you're gonna get that eight percent damage to targets out of cover which is multiplicative damage and you want that preferably it's just my opinion i mean you can see the build speaks for itself but moving on to the gloves you do want to have that cheska is what they say Agent i'm not backup. sure which one's correct you can let me know in the comment section down below um, but you're gonna get that 10% critical hit chance so you stack that with the core attribute of max armor max critical hit chance and max critical hit damage is your preferred here as you guys can see I don't have that much so it's you guys can make this and optimize it way better than me but you're gonna hit a lot harder props to you moving on to the backpack it's the matador it's gonna give you that plus 5% weapon damage uh, the core attribute you want is 170k armor uh, max critical hit damage and max critical hit chance now I forgot to mention my mods are critical hit damage critical hit damage and critical hit damage now the matador you can get out of the dark zone caches or if you do descent you can get the blueprint if I'm not mistaken and you can craft one perfect adrenaline rush whenever you are within 10 meters of an enemy you are going to gain 12% bonus armor for five seconds. Now, remember, I I did the PVE, the normalized stats, so that's what you're gonna get. 12 times three is 36. So that's what you're gonna get. 36% bonus armor for five seconds, which is gonna proc your intimidate, which is gonna mean that you're gonna be in close quarter combat. So the coyote's mask is, mask is gonna kick in. You already have this Carl's holster weapon damage multiplicative damage on your knee pads critical hit chance and now you have some bonus armor moving on to the skills like i said striker ballistic shield is extremely extremely effective with this build do not get carried away this is a build that you pull your shield out and put your shield back in you don't want to sit there and just hold your shield for literally two three seconds this it's going to be fried remember I said this was nerfed so take this build with a little bit of grain of salt and you know make it your playstyle. you don't have to run the striker ballistic shield but as you guys can see it does help now to complement that holographic distraction decoy this thing is pretty much gonna save your life make you invisible not invisible literally but hide your nameplate people aren't gonna be able to tell that you are coming unless they pulse you so this is pretty much the build. Let me just show you the stats real quick. So pretty much I got 54 critical hit chance and 147% critical hit damage and about 12% uh, damage to armor. Now that's not including the damage targets out of cover. This doesn't reflect on here. Um, as you guys can see, pretty much my PVP weapon damage is 303,000. So that's pretty damn good if you ask me for a 1.7 possibly 1.8 million armor if you get it all the way up and uh the shotgun's only gonna get better it's only expertise 17 so i can go all the way to 25. um so like i said take this build make it how you guys want it maybe you guys can tweak it out a little bit i just wanted to show you basically my template and um how effective this shotgun is with intimidate so uh, definitely definitely like the video if you like the content and if you missed last week uh the last drop i just did reflecting the part one to this video i'm gonna drop the link down below so this is your man clever thumbs i will see you guys on the next one peace